everybody, it's MLB11 XNC20U coming to you with another deck build today. Um, uh, today I will be debuting a new deck of mine. Um, let's get into the deck build. First up, I'll be running Free Darkness Sight. Yep, this is Night Shroud's Darkness deck. Uh, Free Darkness Sight now. I'll leave you guys what this guy does. Once per turn, during every player's turn, you can look at the all set spell trap cards you control, ignoring the effects of darkness. If this card is in face up attack position during your standby phase, once during this turn, you can normal summon one monster without tributing. So pretty much, I think three of this guy is really good right now. I might put it down to two in the future, but I'm going to stick with three for now. Um, but yeah, this guy's good. You need this card in combination with Darkness, I mean, in order to get your, your plays going. So yeah, that's that. Next up is free Darkness Seed. Pretty much what he does is, when he's sent to the graveyard by pretty much any means necessary... He is summoned to your field. And he is summoned to your field during your next standby phase. Simple as that. And also, when he uh, when he when he's summoned this way, he can't be destroyed by battle. And if your life points are below four thousand, they stay at four thousand. Simple as that. Next up, free darkness outside. This guy is so. Busted, it's unbelievable. I just got one card from my hand and declare any type of monster in the game, pretty much. And, and he is special in my field, ignoring the summoning conditions. From me. And, and, I can, and pretty much I declare a monster returning from my opponent's deck or extra deck. So I can declare your shooting quasar and yada yada yada. It's just so busted. Next up. Two... Darkness Bramble. I think two is the perfect number in this deck, as I got a few good combos with it. He does the same thing as Darkness Side, pretty much, and he can't be destroyed by battle. And he's a good two. And he's two hundred. And he's a two hundred beater, which he gets over Thunder King and stuff. Next up, two Darkness. I think to me three is too much. One is too less. I think two is just the right number. Uh, what this, you can do with this guy is when you summon him, you can tribute him to get a, a, a darkness monster out of your graveyard and bring it to the field. Simple as that. Next up, Darkness Destroyer, one of the other big beaters on my deck. I can he's well, he's pretty much a darkness necro slime target. Pretty much, um, he's really there's many ways to summon him in this deck. It's just really cool, and he does piercing damage, and he's a twenty three hundred beater. So yeah. Next up, Darkness Rain Crow. Pretty much you need this card in your hand at all times, because pretty much then you can sacrifice him from your hand and a Darkness Monster in your field to summon this guy. Darkness Neosphere. And this is the big beater of my deck. What it is, it's a 4,000 beater, which can get over a whole bunch of stuff. If your life points are less than 4,000 during the end phase, your life points uh, become 4,000. Once per turn, you can look at all set spell trap cards you control. Ignoring the effects of darkness, you can activate this effect during your player's turn. You can set all spell you can set all face up spell trap cards on April player's spell and trap zones face down and rearrange all spell and trap cards uh, on that spell and trap zone. Once per turn I can I can flip a face up spell trap card face down. So pretty much this guy he it's really good in combination with the darkness stuff. Next up Legendary Dragon Goddess, huge beat stick, infinite attack and defense. No need to explain. Caius, really good in this deck. I mean, there's so many ways you can summon him. Dark Crusader, really nice. Just a Skarda. Breaker, really, it's pretty much an extra spell and trap destroyer. It's really good. Darkness. Now this is my, and I'm running two of these. This is my main field spell. What this does is very simple. When you activate this card, destroy all cards in your spell and trap zone. Then set one zero, infinity, darkness one, two, and three at random from your hand or deck. You cannot look at those face down cards. During each end phase, set all face up trap cards you control and randomly arrange 
all cards in your spell trap zone. Yeah, yeah. Set all face up trap cards you control and randomly arrange all cards in your spell trap zone. If a spell or trap card you control is removed from the field, destroy all spell and trap cards you control. So pretty much you need to time this correctly. It's all about it. this is a luck based deck and thank goodness I know how this deck works. <laughs> Next, the other trap cards I'm running, three Seal of Ori Calcos. I mean, this is pretty much a negation this is pretty much my negation engine and if I can, and the thing is, uh through testing in this deck, I found out that I can use either darkness or the seal in this deck. Because with the seal and darkness neosphere, it's just so good. Next up on my list, two power waves. Really, two power waves is just amazing in this deck. I mean, it protects everything, and along with Breaker, it's just so awesome. Next up, infinite Sacred Scroll of Infinite Spells. This pretty much um, lets me play unlimited spell track cards in my monster zones while ignoring the uh, the monster the spell and trap zones limit. I mean, play spell and trap cards in my spell and trap zones while ignoring the spell and trap zone limit. Foolish burial staple. Graceful charity staple. Zero infinity. Now these two have different effects. So I'll read zero first. If you control a face-up darkness, apply an appropriate effect. If you do not control a face-up infinity, activate one set card in your spell and trap zone. If you control a face-up infinity, activate all set spell and trap cards you control between this card and infinity. Now what infinity does. If you control a face-up darkness, activate an appropriate effect. If you do not control a face-up zero, activate one set, uh, set card in your spell and trap zone. If you control a face-up infinity, I mean zero, activate all set spell and trap cards you control between this card and zero. So pretty much, you gotta have these two in order to play uh, play these cards at their full potential. Now we get to the meat of the deck. Darkness 1. Now, when you activate zero and infinity and you activate this card, this card allows you to destroy one card your opponent controls. Darkness 2. When you activate this between 0 and infinity, um, you can select one, one monster you control and it gains 1,000 attack for each face-up darkness field spell. If you activate all three, it'll gain 3,000 attack, which is really gruesome. Darkness 3, what this does, Pretty much, um, your opponent takes damage in 1,000 points of damage times the number of darkness continuous trap cards that you've activated. So if you activate one, two, and we activate three first, then two, then one, then pretty much your opponent's gonna take some really serious damage. And and the thing is, if you can play our cards right, you can just OTK them in three turns. Metroplex Slime, really good, and he's also a Caius target. Negate Attack. Starlight Road. The anime version of... Now, this version of Crunch is so much different. Activate only when a dark monster with 1,000 or less attack is destroyed by a battle in, in, from your side of the field. Your opponent destroys all monsters with 1,500 attack or more on their side of the field and in their hand and deck. Damage calculation is applied normally. These monsters cannot be dispersed from the graveyard. If this card is not in your graveyard, negate this effect. So yeah, this thing, oh my gosh. And last, Super Summon. Pretty much when this card is activated, I'm allowed to summon as many monsters as possible. And that's pretty much my Darkness deck, everybody. Uh, leave a comment, sub leave a comment, and leave a comment, let me know how I can uh, change the deck and stuff, let me know what improvements I can make upon it. I mean, really, this deck is just so good, I mean, it's a really good deck. Um, I guess that's it for now, people. See you later.